It's a new day. Yes, it is. Wakey, wakey. Time to get up. Good morning, citizens. Up and at them. Crash and shine. This is your wake-up call, people. Come on. The coffee's come on. Howdy, Twitch. Welcome to the new uh, layout. New layout. So you can uh, see Vida. more better. Are we doing lights? No. Oh. No. I kind of like it. We're going to lower. You, Listen, what, I hold like, on. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> after we watched it, after I watched it back, I really did like the way that it looked yeah. on camera. I really did. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just now telling him this. Sorry. Well, I was I abandoning that track. No, I actually really did like it. Okay. Well, we'll try and work it back in. Okay. But this kind of cuts out the. I know it does. Individual, individual backgrounds. But you actually remembered to put the I did the put the right sign, sign up, up, but you can't time. see all but an inch, an inch of it over here. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. If you you notice the wood behind me is right here and on the screen to go up to Moe's level. <laughs> Way up here. <laughs> Burr. Yeah. See, and this is going to be weird because I do this a lot to read the comments. <laughs> and then you'll be out of frame, so stop doing that. <laughs> You're wearing your glasses. You can read them, right? No. <laughs> I can't read. Uh, Should I bring the comment? You know what? I can't bring the comment section. To you. <gasps> Life I don't know why I haven't done this. Changing. Hmm. Say it again. Will it let me? There we go. And then move that over here. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. There. Now it's on your side. My mind is blown. <laughs> I apologize. I haven't thought of that before. Hey, see, I saw that because I can see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Oriole. Thanks for joining us. We know it's late and it's Sunday, but uh, we had to be here. So why not you? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. What do you think of the new uh, outline here? The new overlay? Tell us. Mm. Tell See, we got our, us. Our little, our little uh, guys. Our little guys. Guys? Our little oh, uh, is... Among Us guys. Thank you. Right Ooh. there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is weird. Did you like how yours came out? Your Among With Us character? With the coffee? Yeah. Uh-huh, I did. Coffee? I had to specially request that. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you notice it has like a little Among Us guy on it instead of a Starbucks logo? Yes, I yeah. did. <laughs> That's Why what they did my for Orioles. Vibrating? That's what, <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem, really. I'm going to see the doctor for that. Uh, but that's uh, that's what they did for Orioles cap, too. I, I said, you know, give, give him a cap that looks like an, an Orioles cap, but like we can't use the logo. Yeah. So they're like, okay, well, I'll put a little orange, like little kid Among Us guy on yeah. there. And it came out really well. Came out really well. Oh yeah, okay, I remember. Ready? Uh, you, you, this is your part. Rise and shine, nerds. <laughs> Welcome to the Back Row Morning Show, part of the Love Thy Nerd Podcast Network and the official exclusive morning show for LTN Radio. I'm Radio Matt, I'm the station manager for LTN Radio. I'm a third generation radio dude and a lifelong nerd. Also, my favorite beverage is the Diet Lemonade from Chick-fil-A. Mm. And I'm Mo, the shorter yet louder, and some might say smarter counterpart of the back row. I'm a wife, mom, super fan of all things friends, and I've never broken any major bones, but have fractured almost all of my toes. Really? Yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. My pinky toe on my right foot n no longer grows. Doesn't that stop eventually, though? Okay, so I broke it. <laughs> Broke it, fractured it. How long can a pinky toe? When I was six. Okay, but look at this. For no, I don't want. I, it'll gross me out. I got a thing about feet. It'll gross me out. Just tell me. Okay, so <laughs> my like my pinky toes sit like this. Oh, okay. I like got one you. is shorter than the other. My right pinky toe is shorter than so my left. So it stopped growing toe. before your foot stopped growing. Yes, I was gotcha. 16 when I fractured that pinky toe. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Um. 15. I just heard a story about Dizzy Dean. Remember Dizzy Dean, an no. old uh, baseball pitcher? Uh-uh. Uh, he had a, a fantastic uh, pitch, was uh, MVP, all kinds of stuff, 
uh, all-star, whatever, back then. Uh, he broke his toe in a game, and they told him uh, that he, he should probably sit out the rest of the game and get it examined. He said, no, it's fine. Never really uh, got, it, got it fixed. Kept on pitching. But because of that broken toe, it, it changed the way his body moved to pitch. And he blew out his arm, and he was done pitching, done playing baseball within a year. Wow. And that's Poor an object Dizzy lesson. Dean. For even the smallest uh, broken thing can lead to a giant mess. So. A whole sermon. Life. A whole sermon on that before we even told you about the day. Americans have too much toilet paper. Well, no, duh. Finally, sales slow. <laughs> After 2020. <laughs> After a year in which toilet tissue shortages left consumers scrambling for squares, sales are plummeting to below pre-pandemic levels. Bath tissue sales in January fell more than 4% from the same period a year earlier before the spread of COVID-19 spurred Americans to load up on staples from toilet paper to cemetery wipes. According to figures from Nielsen IQ, the decline, which comes even though legions of Americans continue to work and attend school from home, uh, indicates that last year's stockpiling is starting to have an effect on sales. <laughs> You never knew when you weren't going to be able to get it. So every time we went out, we got some, said Major Greenberg, 62 years old in New York. And they just kept amassing. <laughs> the pile just kept growing. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Greenberg still has 54 rolls stored in various places throughout her home. In a guest room, the back of the linen closet, the laundry room in the basement. I'm not planning on buying any for a while, she said. <laughs> Demand for toilet paper shot up in the outbreak's initial weeks, doubling in the second week of March, and remained elevated throughout most of 2020. Americans spent more than $11 billion on toilet paper last year, which is $2 billion more than a typical year, according to Nielsen IQ. In the current place, uh, if the current pace holds, 2021 sales will be less than $9 billion, less than a normal year. Uh, I mean, I still remember. I still remember how stupid that was. Mm -hmm. Why are you freaking out about toilet paper? Y'all act like y'all were going to be going down into a bunker. But here's <laughs> here's what happened. Why are y'all freaking out about toilet paper? Why is everybody going buying toilet paper all the time? Should I be freaking out about toilet paper? <laughs> what am I missing? Do I need to be buying toilet paper all the time? Did Fauci say we got to wear toilet paper on our faces? Now I really am freaking, about, <laughs> freaking out about toilet paper because... I can't ever find it anymore. So yes, just like Miss Marjorie said, every time I went to the store, mm -hmm. got to buy another. If it's there, I'm buying it. I'm bringing it home. Well, yeah, that was the. I think I told the story a couple times over the over the course of the last year, but that was the mindset. I'm like, for 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 the first few weeks, Deidre and I are like, we're not going to stock, we're not going to hoard toilet paper. Yeah. But then, like, we were almost out, and. Every time I'd gone to the store, there had been no toilet paper yep. whatsoever. No no toilet paper, no wet wipes, no paper towels. <laughs> I mean, anything that can be used, no napkins, anything that can be used as toilet paper. Not yeah. there either. I'm like, dang, okay, now I'm getting worried. And so I went into Walmart one day, and they were unloading one pallet of toilet paper of the big, like the big yeah. multi-packs, uh, like the 40 rolls or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab one of these since I'm here, just so we'll have it. So I just picked one. I'm like, I'm just going to get one. I'm just going to get one, and that'll last us for a good reasonable. long while. I'm walking off, and I'm seeing, like, I happen to be, like, the first person to walk into that aisle as they're, yeah. like, unwrapping it. So I grab mine. And then I notice just this mass of people swarming that pallet. I'm like, they're all going to take it. Oh, crap. So I went back and I got another one before I left. I'm like, okay, we got 80 rolls. We're good. We're good. And we were good for months. It was like five months later before we needed another roll of toilet paper. Maybe longer. Yeah. It was a really long time. Toilet paper does tend to last a little bit more than you think it does. <laughs> it does. I We had a friend who went really kind of strict on his family and was like, there's a table there. I, um, started telling his kids, you can only use two squares. <laughs> when you go to the bathroom, you can only use two squares. And I was like, uh, yeah, not doing that. I don't care. I don't care how short we get. I will figure out ways around it. 
I will use washcloths and we rewash them if I have to, but I am not only using two squares. Not happening. <laughs> did you see the uh, the family that stopped giving out allowance and instead you did chores to earn squares of toilet paper? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> that's worth two squares. <laughs> I think that's wrong. It's messed up. It I think really that's is. Wrong. But hey, this entire year has made us all messed up, hasn't it? The, the <laughs> whole well, year and a year half now. was wrong. It oh, was wrong. Oh, man. But that's. What's wrong? Let's take Everything a... about it. On an emotional, on a spiritual, spiritual um, on a factual level. It was all wrong. <laughs> all of it. Wrong, 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 wrong. Oh, gosh. We are going to take a break right here. Okay. Here we go. You it's not, it? yeah. Oh, I thought you were, I was like, it's not me. You start. Just wait on you to get the facts. Gosh, I got them. Would you go? As soon as I start to push the button, I see you reaching for your phone like, oh. I got them. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Welcome back to the Back Row Morning Show. I'm Radio Matt. And I'm Mo. Uh, Powerade freezer bars, which I'm assuming still have electrolytes in them. I, yeah, I would assume. Uh, in Mountain Berry Blast flavor, or as us intellectuals call it, uh, blue flavor. And Fruit Punch. So, I, um, we talked yesterday about how this past weekend was D-Now weekend. Yeah. And one of the boys that we hosted in our home, he's actually diabetic. And so, I've never been around anyone with diabetes, ever. Um, so I didn't know what that looked like and what, you know, what his daily life was like. Well, his mom is really great. She's a good friend of mine. And there's actually an app that you can get on your phone that speaks to his pump and his monitor and everything. So every time his levels would go high or low. Oh, he's at a, he's at a point where he's got to wear like a, um, a constant monitor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so every time his levels would go high or low, I would get a notification on my phone. And so I'm like constantly watching it all day, like freaking out. <laughs> so this would be type high, 1 diabetes too, then, too right? Low. This would yes. be one that he developed not from overindulging in sugar for his, right. he was his born, childhood. But he was born um, yeah. with it and he was diagnosed. That was rough. He was diagnosed at four. Um, but Powerade is like his lifeline. I didn't realize it. I had no idea. And so I started carrying around just bottles and bottles of Powerade <laughs> all weekend long. And I would check my phone and I'd be like, hey, you need a Powerade? <laughs> you're, you're going low. Take a Powerade. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the rough part of, of type 1 is type 1, you got when you when you're type 2 diabetic, you really just focus on keep it lower. Yeah. Don't let it get too high. Don't yeah. let your blood sugar get too high. With type one, you're in this constant tug of war with your body to make mm -hmm. sure it doesn't get too low or too high. That's exactly what That's it was. That's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. All weekend. I can imagine the the pressure that put on you having not been a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> his whole life, and he's probably like, "I'll be fine." <laughs> Don't so freak out. and he, yeah, he is very laid yeah. back, very even keeled. Anyway, as yeah. his, that's just his personality type. Um. And every time that I've been around them as a family, it was never like a big to do. So I went into it kind of not at all emotionally prepared. <laughs> um, and Friday night, our first night, because it was just a, a high of emotion and adrenaline and everything, you know, mm -hmm. he went to bed that night very high. And so he's giving himself insulin to try and bring his levels down. Well, then at four o'clock in the morning, my phone starts going off because he's dangerously low. Mm. And so I have to go into the room where all the boys are and wake him up and say, hey, you need to drink this Gatorade and eat these crackers. And he's barely awake, but he's doing it, you know, yeah. but barely awake. And so I let all day long Saturday, I'm just watching my phone going back and forth, <laughs> making sure that he's staying within a healthy range. Saturday night, he stayed pretty much at the same level all night long. 
But ask me how many times I woke up and checked my phone. <laughs> that several, right? Just out of panic. It's uh, almost like having a newborn baby. You just within kinda... <laughs> a five-hour window, I woke up four times and checked my phone. Oh, And then when I did go in to wake him up to tell, tell him to take a shower, he's like, I'll drink the Gatorade. Just hand it to me. And I'm like, no, you're good. You're good. Just go take a shower. You're okay. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, you stink. That's why I'm in here. I can smell yeah. you in my room. Right. Anyway. Shower now. So I'm. So you survived. I, yes, I survived. <laughs> and he survived. And he survived. That was my big thing. I didn't care if I survived or not. I could have died. That would have been okay. I just wanted to get him back to his mom safe and in one piece. But I'm thinking about him with these freezer bars. Like, I think they might be. If, yeah, they could be good. Yeah. yeah. If they have the electrolytes and exactly. stuff and mm -hmm. uh, whatnot. I just had kind of like a, a like a what's brain that explosion. Called? No, no, like an epiphany. <laughs> epiphany. I had an epiphany. Um, you pick on me because I used to say Reese's Pieces. Yeah. Okay. Pieces sounds an awful lot like feces, which is kind of disgusting. But if Reese's was to poop, it would look like pieces. <laughs> 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 it's a, it, that was my epiphany. <laughs> Guys, those of you listening or watching on Twitch right now, yesterday we, we uh, filmed the show with our buddy Joey. <laughs> and uh, at the I end of the it. night, after the camera, I mean, after the, the recording was done, <laughs> Joey and I were making inappropriate jokes. Uh, not, you know, not particularly dirty, just, just you know, boy jokes. And, and most of the, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I hang out with you guys. You're so disgusting. <laughs> and uh, she stopped the show just now to tell this joke. <laughs> it, it... Which reinforces what our response was to her, which was, you're exactly like us. <laughs> That's why you hang out with us. <laughs> you're just as gross as we are. <laughs> Really, what I said was, I don't know why I'm friends with boys. Right. And but it was then, in response to that. Yeah, and then it hit me that I prefer to be friends with boys because when I make comments like this, I mean, even you did it, but girls are so much more, ew, ew, you're gross. I'm not saying you're gross. I'm just saying this is a prime example of what we were trying to tell you. <laughs> All right. Oh goodness. Reese's I love you. Well, that was <laughs> disgusting, but it's funny. Uh, Pop tarts, bites, <laughs> frosted blueberries coming out. I'm such a kid. <laughs> Kids love the the frosted pop. Uh, so here's my confession, Mo. What's your confession? And you're gonna These be mad. Are at my me. confession. You're gonna be mad. What? At me. So the other day in the Discord, uh, for Love Thy Nerd, a, a discussion about chicken sandwiches. No, it wasn't on the Discord. Chicken wing. Was it? It was on. It was in the Facebook group. Anyway, chicken sandwiches got brought up, and uh, our, our 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 mod, who is a a foil for us, because she hates Chick Fil A, mm. uh, was asking a question about the Love Thy Nerd Facebook group because we were promoting it, and she said, you know, do the mods over there allow for other views on chicken sandwiches? <laughs> Or is it just Chick-fil-A over there like it is in Back Row Baptist Church? And, uh, Tyranny, uh, who, who runs the, the Love Thy Nerd Facebook group, went on about how great the Burger King, the new <gasps> Burger King chicken Matthew sandwich is. Matthew Coker. <laughs> and, no, you and didn't. Mo, Mo responded with it like an angry face. Like, how, how dare you? She's been on a kick about these Burger King chicken sandwiches for a long time. And so... I, I bent, and I went and got one. Mo, it's one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had in my life. It is so good. Which one is it? Just the Burger King handcrafted chicken sandwich. Now, I get it. It comes with pickles and, like, a sauce, and I get it without the sauce. But the pickles, I don't normally like, like, the thick cucumber-esque pickles, but they are fantastic. The chicken is the... Highest quality chicken I've ever gotten outside of Chick-fil-A. I was highly impressed. And our Burger King here in our town is garbage already. 
So I was expecting it to be bad. It was phenomenal. So, Tierney, you, you were right. And Burger King did something good, in my opinion. Right, it was. Bad. I had the Popeye sandwich, okay? I had the stupid Popeye sandwich that everyone said, just kill Chick-fil-A. It was just the best thing that's ever happened. It's been an internet meme for the last year and a half. It was fine. It was not spectacular. This Burger King chicken sandwich, good night. Good night. All right. So. Are you quitting? Are you typing out your resignation letter? Right no. Actually, what I'm currently doing is asking if my husband will order me one and have it when I get home so I can try. I really hope point, they don't let me down. Here's the th well, here's the thing. Okay. I'm not a chicken fan. And we've talked about this True. a lot. True. I doing chicken at a restaurant, but especially from a fast food restaurant, really kind of freaks me out. It really does. Um, but you told me to try, what was the chalupa? Oh, the uh, 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 um, quesalupa? No, 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 the chicken club chalupa. The that's chicken what club it was. chalupa, that's what you Taco told me Bell. to try. Yeah. And it was good. Great. I told you I had to close my eyes <laughs> through the first few bites <laughs> to fool myself into realizing, you know, just a normal chalupa. Exactly. Um, you did not steer me wrong. So you're going to give it a shot? You trust me that much? Hold on. The Wendy's chicken breakfast. Oh, yeah. The maple bacon chicken thing. Didn't on the steer me wrong there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to trust you. <laughs> Just remember our Burger King's garbage. I know. If it's bad. That's what scares me. Because we're if recording it's bad, this at night. That's why? No, no, no. If, if, if we're recording this at night, if it's bad tonight when you get home, order it again at lunch sometime. Because okay. the lunch, the day crew are always more on top of things. Our Burger King, past five o'clock, there's no manager. And they just don't care okay. most of the time. All right. I'll give, I'll. <laughs> I'll give it two tries at least. But it's only three ingredients, so I feel like they could give it a sh give it a good showing. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll let you know next week what you. I think. All right, dot com. Now let's get down to taste testing. <laughs> let's get down. <laughs> no, I specifically didn't say taste it. Taste test. <laughs> okay, so Matt, I need to know something. <clears throat> I am six two. What is your absolute least favorite flavor Are ever? Are you really going to do this to me? What is your least favorite flavor <laughs> ever? Worst. Are we talking like candy? Blue raspberry. Oh. So we have, I can't spin it correctly. We have Sour Patch Kids Jello Blue Raspberry flavor. Just so you know, they had the red flavor. But you specifically got the blue to punish me. Um, you will also like to know that Topher, my, my son, um, really, really, really was upset with me that I chose the blue. He said, why do you do this? Why, why are you so <laughs> mean? Don't worry, Mo. Don't worry. I'll be getting you back next week. <laughs> Listen, there has come a point. These taste tests were super fun in oh, the beginning. Oh, it smells awful. Oh, I love it. I love blue raspberry. Blue uh, raspberry is one of my favorite it smells candy so flavors. Strong and bad. Um Ugh. Okay, so like I was saying, these taste tests in the beginning were really I hate jello though, I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> they were fun, but then they got to a point to where I feel like we like We made it too easy. We were eating yeah. just good things. Yeah. Okay. And so now instead of like torturing ourselves with heat or disgustingness every week i mean i feel like the least that we can do is torture ourselves slightly while still eating at least edible things i'm upset about it i really don't like jello i am not a jello oh, fan gosh, so if that makes you such, feel any better i hate the texture of jello like it's especially especially off-brand jello like not jello jello this is jello jello is this actually jello no, this is Snack Pack. Oh, okay. That's a different brand. Snack that smiles back. Is it's that the kind Snack that Pack? Does, no. That's not Snack Pack. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. All right, ready? No. 
It smells like, oh, okay. It smells like the blue raspberry Kool-Aid. Takes me straight back to my childhood. We were so poor. We had to drink Kool-Aid, y'all. Kool-Aid. Ready? Mm. Mm. I really hate Jello. The flavor's good. Mm -mm. Yummy. It is. Mm, it is blue raspberry. It is delicious. <laughs> but I hate the texture of Jello. Tex no, this isn't the right texture either. I can't stand the texture. This is why texture. I don't like snack pack because snack pack is made formulated in a way that it doesn't need to be refrigerated. And that's just off. It's an off texture. So I'm getting both the flavor and the texture wanting me to vomit. Blah. Thanks. I want you to know. Here's the thing. Zero uh, stars. Go, go back. Ah. Go back and watch our Twitch highlights from, <laughs> I want to say, three weeks. And every time you referenced anything blue raspberry, <sighs> every time you referenced anything blue raspberry, I was like, <laughs> remind me again, Matt, you, you don't like blue raspberry? No, I hate blue raspberry. And I go... That's so just even a, earlier today. That's even it. Earlier uh -huh. today. I yeah. did. It's just a nod. Sometimes I'll do that. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up the game here a little bit. I'm gonna tell you. In fact, I'm gonna show you what next week's taste test is. Why don't we just do it now? Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? Because it's, it's it's it needs to be built up. You remember how we did the one chip challenge and we built that up for like several weeks so people would watch. So a few weeks ago, it was my turn to taste test, and I had been hyping up that I've got something coming. Yeah. And it's going to be devastating. But you couldn't find it. But then the place that was selling it suddenly was sold out. Yeah. Well, they got restocked. Okay. You ready for this? Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay. Joey, he was on yesterday, right? Yes. And he said, did you buy, did you buy this Sunday? Did you buy this Sunday morning before church? I did. He saw you. He, he saw was me in at, the store? He was at Bill's Jumbo in the drive-in oh, okay. getting his yeah. burrito for the morning before church. And he saw you walking to s, s to the grocery store across the street. And he's like, D I can't honk because I'm in the drive-thru and the people <laughs> in front of me will think that I'm honking at them. But I can... You? What? Nothing. Just the fact that I now know when you bought it. Okay. And well, I bought all. it this morning. It is... Sunday morning. Because it's Tuesday. Yeah, sorry. Reaper beef jerky. Shut up. Carolina Reaper peppers. Buffalo Bills Reaper beef jerky. You and I are going to eat that next week. So you should be here for that show. We'll be recording it Saturday morning. What a great way to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to break my fast for this. <laughs> For this garbage. Oh, it's going to be fun. Uh, Silver, thank you for that lurk. I, I did see it. Uh, <laughs> let's get back. See? See? You had to bring the blue raspberry jello, didn't you? That's okay. I still feel good about it. it was I just got to tell you. It was gross. <laughs> just, to, just to let you know, I still feel good about it. Funny. Look, if you're going to bring me blue raspberry stuff, at least make it candy. Why? Because I could suffer through candy. The Jello, I literally almost g gagged and vomited all over this computer. System. Which was hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna go back Which and watch it. Which would have been it. great too yeah. if you just went through it. I don't want you to suffer through something. I want you to puke it out. <laughs> all right, that's the whole point. It's game day Wednesday, and today we're going to be playing agree or disagree. Game. Agree on disagree on. Mo is in her pursuit to take this title belt back from me. Pursuit of happiness. And uh, I don't know if she'll though. ever get it. <laughs> what was the guy's real name? I don't know. Movie? I don't know. Uh, come on, man. Sap doesn't want to load. There's four dots. Bruh. For real? Bruh. 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 What's the deal here, guys? What a deal, yo! What a deal, yo! Is the app broken? I think the app is broken. All right, we'll go to their other game. Would you rather? That's what we'll do instead. <laughs> Similar concept. So uh, we're presented with a would you rather question. Uh, we will each give each other seven of these, and uh, 
This game is so difficult. It's very difficult because we're we're choosing not what we would rather, but what we think most people would rather. The majority. The majority. Oh, I just broke a paper clip. What? All right. So here we go. Uh, why does this still say welcome to the chat room? Are we still in here? What's going on? Are we still streaming? Did it restart? I don't know what happened. It says Kiwi RIP. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have the volume down. What did I do? <laughs> Silver. I just said that I don't trust you much in Among Us. That's all. All right. Question number one. Sorry. All right. Question number one. Agree or... No, I'm sorry. Would, would you rather, you rather? <laughs> would you rather wear pants three sizes too big or shoes three sizes too small? Pants too big. 75%. That was an easy one. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to turn invisible? Fly. No. 59%. Yo, a bunch of creepy people. Bunch of creeps. Bunch of... Bunch of pervs over here, mm -hmm. turning invisible. The only reason y'all want to be invisible <laughs> is to see things you don't need to be seeing. Just saying. Uh, all right. And you know it's true. Would you rather that your best dream and your worst nightmare both come true, or that you never have any of your dreams come true? Dang. <laughs> this is like... That's a deep one. your face because <laughs> um, i'm thinking about my worst nightmare and i'm really about like i'm on the verge of tears <laughs> matt I'm so, i didn't I write the like question this one. <laughs> none of my dreams come true i guess i don't know <laughs> i don't like this one. Oh, it's 50 50 so it comes down to the number of votes Ooh, okay. Best dream and worst nightmare eked it out by uh, almost 2,000 votes. I would have picked the other thing. Is that awful? That is awful. All right. <laughs> would you rather be a wizard or be a Jedi? See, we're fun. We're back to fun again. I don't like this game. Don't cry. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm saying... <sighs> would you rather be a wizard, Harry? Yeah, I think I'm going. Oh, Jedi. I, no, shoot! I feel like there's more <laughs> Star Wars fans. Like the Star Wars fan base is bigger than the Harry Potter fan base. I think. I'm I'm saying Jedi. Oh, 61% said wizard. What? Yeah. Wow. That is shocking to me. <laughs> All right. Would you rather genetically alter your child or leave it to nature? What the crap? <laughs> nature. Sixty-two percent agree with you, but only Jeez, sixty-two. Louise. That seems low. <laughs> add, add time. Add on the app time. All right. Orioles offended. Right? Those people are lying about being a wizard. Uh, would you rather always be unprepared or always be late? <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> Story Can't of my both, life. Both, please. Why not both? Um, no, I'm from always, A. I'm always prepared. Little from column B. I'm always prepared. Okay. But I'm always late. Uh, I'm going to say late. 70% of people agree with you there. Okay. Rude. All right. Last one. Would you rather be the richest person in the world or be immortal? Immortal. <laughs> Give me the money. Immortal combat. Give me the money. 63% uh, of people agree with you. Okay. You got four. You got four right, yo. Good job. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Would you rather be someone who is extremely attractive or I mean, I that you, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you rather be with someone who is extremely attractive or I mean, that you are extremely attractive? Uh, be with, obviously. 
Is it wrong? Really? Yeah. 57% are selfish and want to be the attractive one in their Jeez. relationship. I still see my answer as selfish. Like if I'm with a super attractive woman, which I have been for most of my life, I can be like, see that? See how I got that? And you didn't? I did. That's, I mean, that's, that's, it's like owning, oh no, I'm not going to compare it to that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's like a set status symbol almost. That's why uh, trophy I could go wife several is different, a, is a term. Yeah. Uh, but I, I wish have to pay for there's it. no going back, is there? <laughs> is there going back in the... I don't think so, no. I kind of wish that I would have looked to have seen how many of the votes were men and women. Oh, yeah, it does separate that. Too, yeah, because it? I do think that it would be different. Anyway, <laughs> uh, would you rather have a high-paying job that you hate or have a low-paying job that you love? Mm. Again, it's my life. I got two super low paying yep. jobs that I love. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Depends on how low. All right. Little job that you love. No. Oh, sad people. 55% of people said a high paying job they hate. Oh, Jeez, I know. I no, guess they you. feel like they can buy happiness. <laughs> you really can't. Nope. Uh, would you rather be a clown who distracts the bull or the cowboy who rides the bull? That's a hard one, too, man. That's dangerous. Both ways. Clown? No, wait. Dang it. You already clicked it. Go ahead. Is it right? No, the <laughs> cowboy by 74%. Uh, all right, I got to get all four of these right to tie. I feel like the cowboy gets hurt more. Yes, than... but I'm also, what I thought, that's what I thought at first. But then I'm thinking, but people would want to be the cool cowboy and not the dopey clown as a person. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you rather watch only Breaking Bad or watch only Game of Thrones? I know your answer. I know your answer. Yeah. Yeah. But I really can't gauge the popularity of those two against each other. I feel like... Like, I want to say Game of Thrones had more fans, but at the same time, it was also on HBO, and I don't think as many people got to watch it. As got to watch Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Mm -mm. Dang it. 61% said. Wow, I'm doing. I'm striking out on this one. All right, three more. Let's go. Oh, you get that. Ad time. Ad space. Golf rival. Nobody wants to play you. Okay. Unless you want to be our sponsor, then that's all I will play on my phone. I promise. No, it's not. Would you rather <laughs> go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great, great grandchildren? That one. Yes. Okay. 50, <laughs> 56%. Uh, would you rather have one eye or have one hand? Ah. I know my answer. <laughs> What's your answer? One eye. Yeah, I don't I have so enough too. hands as it is. One eye. 66%. All right, all right, all right. How many have we done? There's one more. Okay. And would you rather be in Lord of the Rings or be in Harry Potter? Harry Potter, because Lord of the Rings is insufferable to sit through. Yes. 68%. Boom, baby. Then again, yeah. I have watched all the Lord of the Rings, and I have not watched all the Harry Potters. Well, at least in Harry Potter. I haven't read Potter, any of them. I think the most like super active thing that they do is Quidditch. <laughs> they don't have to travel through lands and fight. <laughs> Orcs. And Thank you. Fangs. Thanks. Well, you win, which means uh, next week you get to challenge me for the title in this same game. Yeah. So uh, you got your chance. You finally got your chance. Okay. Take it back. Okay.